Hey, how's it going guys, Zedai here. So today I definitely want to touch on more information regarding a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Now, there's a little bit of an article regarding of this game coming from the PlayStation blog. I definitely wanted to read it out and also share a little bit of my thoughts included. Now, this blog's title is Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Developer interview reveals fresh gameplay details as new trailer debuts at the state of play. Now, let's get into the article. Today's state of play, well, I should say even a few days ago, perhaps in this case included, a brand new look at the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The trailer surely will delight both long-term uh, Final Fantasy VII fans as well as the players eager to know what happens after the conclusion of the Final Fantasy VII Remake, as Cloud and company can embark on a journey that takes them to the world outside Medgar. In the trailer, we caught glimpses of the new party members, sprawling open areas to explore, and a reimagining of the, some of the iconic moments from the original game. Rather than leave you speculative, key staff of the game joined us to share not only more insight into the trailer, but also additional gameplay details about the game. That roundtable includes Final Fantasy VII Rebirth producer uh, Yoshinori Kitase, creative director uh, Tetsuya Nomura, director Naoki Hamaguchi, and music supervisor Keiji Kawamori. Hopefully I'm butchering the names. Here, so is the, here's the question. Can you explain what we're seeing in, of the combat system here? Has it remained, well, remained untouched since Final Fantasy VII Remake, or have you altered anything for the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? And Hamaguchi answers, I want to highlight the new synergy moves most from the battle system. This new mechanic uh, allows the players to use synergy commands and abilities freely at any time by using a gouge charge in a similar manner to limit breaks. So through the battles, players will feel the relationship and bonds that have developed between the characters even more so than in the previous game. We also added skill tree as a new element of character growth. You can unlock synergy abilities through the skill tree too. Many new materia with new abilities not seen in the first game are available as well, so players will have even more options to customize and build character loadouts to their own taste. Now, next question. Viewers got a glimpse of Red 13 in combat as a part of the new trailer. Players are now able to control him directly. What can they expect in terms of his abilities that make him distinct and a great party member in a Final Fantasy VII Rebirth's battles? And Hamaguchi answers, The development team challenged themselves to give Red 13 a new play style that felt different from the other characters. Red 13 doesn't just have an ATB uh, gouge, but also uses his own unique revenge gouge mechanic. His revenge gouge charges when he guards against enemy attacks, and he can spend that charge to use various abilities once the gouge is filled. We've designed Red as a new type of character that requires the player to strike a balance between offensive strategy using the ATB gouge and defensive strategy using the revenge gouge. Now, next question. We have seen Red and Kate Sith uh, shown as playable characters, and the footage released also shows another character who looks like Vincent. So will he be playable as well? Will the party expand further too? And Namura answers. The original party members are still all present in the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. In a previous title, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Red became an accompanying member in the second half of the game. But he will become an official playable party member starting from the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Similarly, there are characters who are accompanying members in the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that will become official party members in the next title. And viewers caught a glimpse of Alexander and Odin. Can we expect more returning summons from Final Fantasy VII for Rebirth? And will any summons from Remake return? And Hamaguchi answers. There will be many other summons in the game, in addition to those that have already been revealed in our previous videos, with some also returning from Final Fantasy VII Remake. In fact, the lineup of summons has all actually been fleshed out over and above the previous game, with new extended side content based on the summon who did not feature in the original Final Fantasy VII and even more besides. 
Next question. Sneaking into the original Junon Soul players partake in another unique mini game. We saw the parade and many other mini games in the newly revealed trailer. So will the same mini game from the original Final Fantasy VII be, well, still be playable? And Hamaguchi uh, answers. Yes, the same mini game will be playable, but we greatly increased its scope and compared to what was in the original Final Fantasy VII. In the original, Cloud sneaks onto one of the units participating in a parade and joins, joins in on the performance. But in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, he becomes the leader of that unit and can customize the composition of the soldiers participating in the parade. The chosen unit composition will alter the performance and it goes without saying that this also affects how the minigame is played. The parade to celebrate the inauguration of Rufus as the new president of Shinra is the climax of the first half of the original game. So the development team was really enthused about making all the details for it. It's one of the moments I hope players enjoy the most. And speaking of mini games, we got a fun glimpse of Gold Saucer and its own mini game. How do Final Fantasy VII Rebirth version of these differ from the originals? And Hamaguchi answers, I think there's a lot of fans who point to the number and variety of mini games as one of the draws of the original Final Fantasy VII. But for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, we have gone all out and created a huge number of mini games on a scale that surpasses even the original. Many of these mini games can be experienced in the main story, but we also have lots of unique games and challenges that appear as a part of the side stories you can find as you explore the world's map. There might well be players who get so caught up in all the fun mini games that they find that they aren't making progress in the main story. Gold Saucer is another iconic locale that players will be eager to visit. How have you approached the redesigning this amusement park? And Hamaguchi answers. Players will first visit the Gold Saucer in the middle section of the game, but are then free to come back to it at any time that they like. In order to create that motivation to make them want to come back, we designed a park to provide changing and ever more wonderful experience with each visit. So new mini games are added, a harder difficulty modes are unlocked as the main story progresses, giving you even more to do there. It's not just the mini games either, and the parts of the gold saucer seen in the main story have also been fully remade and upgraded too, so you can expect great things from it. The trailer also shows moments of the party exploring lush exterior open areas. How do those larger areas work within the context of the gameplay and the story? Hamaguchi answers, once the team leaves Midgar, Cloud and the team's major objective, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, is to follow and track down Sephiroth across the expansive world they find themselves in. We put a lot of emphasis on the exploration-focused game design with this title, as we wanted to create the, that feeling of going on a journey while traveling around the world in pursuit of the evidence of Sephiroth's movements. Now, you're several years into remaking iconic locations of Final Fantasy VII, and with Final Fantasy VII Remake being so successful, do you feel less pressure to match the fan expectations when reimagining uh, beloved areas and moments? Hamaguchi answers, as Final Fantasy VII Rebirth will take players to various locations across the whole world, we needed to recreate a massive Final Fantasy VII world map that would also incorporate places such as towns, dungeons within the itself. To do this, we dug deeply into the feeling uh, of each different region and reflected that in the graphics, creating areas that look and feel quite diverse. On top of that, we designed uh, chocobos unique to each region that have their own abilities. Examples, mountain chocobos that can climb sheer cliffs and sky chocobos that can fly, etc. So players will need to utilize their choco uh, chocobos to fully explore each area. I hope players have a lot of fun with this aspect of the exploration. Final Fantasy VII Remake offers a new interpretation of classic locations and moments, as well as the entirely new ones that enriched the game. Is there a similar balance for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? 
He does the answers this time. As with the previous game, we have strived for the right balance between old and new scenes in the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, but we also tried to take on more new challenges than we did in Final Fantasy VII Remake with some of the new scenes. I'm confident these new scenes will be vividly enjoyable for the fans and newcomers alike. What is the function of the world map in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and how are Gucci answers? The world map is vast and expansive, so not all of the locations on it will be used in the main story alone. In fact, volume-wise, the amount of side content in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is nearly double that of the main quest content. Players who want to enjoy Final Fantasy VII setting on an even deeper level can explore all the corners of the world discovering many different and exciting experiences such as the new stories, battles and mini-games to play. It will also be possible to return to and over the region in the world even after the main quest moves on from that area, so you don't have to worry about leaving things behind or unfinished. Given this is a direct continuation, Final Fantasy VII Remake can players port over their save files and the character builds to continue the journey into Final Fantasy VII's Rebirth. Hamaguchi answers, we have announced that Final Fantasy VII Remake project will be a trilogy, that each entry will be standalone game in its own right. Because of this, each game's balance is done in independently and players' levels and abilities will not carry over from one game to the next. However, we have created some special bonuses for the fans who played the previous game, allowing them to start with a little bit of something extra. What can you tell us about soundtrack and music Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Kawamori answers, The world Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is much larger than Final Fantasy VII Remake itself. Because of this, the team has created a variety of new musics to go alongside that. We also expanded the variety of musical genres at, well, this time around. So I think there will be plenty to enjoy. Of course, we also have many rearrangements of classic tracks from the original Final Fantasy VII too. So I hope fans will enjoy comparing both iterations of the same song to see what has changed. For example, the music in the newly released trailer is a reimagined of Final Fantasy VII main theme as the battle music track and gives you a taste of the direction of the team has decided to take in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. What was the concept behind the new trailer? And Namura answers this time. Every trailer has a specific purpose. Since this is the second installment in the Final Fantasy VII Remake project, there are people who have played the previous game or enthusiastic fans who follow the built-in mysteries. But for the newcomers or those who are or simply interested in Final Fantasy VII series, we wanted to include a full overview of what kind of experience they will have with this remake project. So there's a less of a mysterious pretense to the story this time, but you can look forward to the next trailer. There was a scene with Cloud and Sephiroth fighting together, but will the player get to control Sephiroth in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Namura answers, if you played the original Final Fantasy VII, I'm sure you can guess which scene I'm talking about. You will be able to control Sephiroth, in the same scene in its title as you did in the original. The Gold Saucer appears in the newly released trailer, but will players be able to enjoy uh, the much anticipated date scene on the Ferris Wheel too? No more answers. Naturally, this is one of the major highlights of Gold Saucer, so it's included in the game. Please look forward to how it will appear in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth with its high resolution visuals. And the last question. Final Fantasy VII Remake showed the story up until the escape from Midgar, but what point does Final Fantasy VII Rebirth take us up to? And no more answers. We have mentioned this a few times before, but the order in which you can explore the locations is not the same as the original Final Fantasy VII, and there are some shifts in the order. For example, Wutai, one of the major locations, is not part of the route in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, and will be visited in the next one. Although there are some changes in the order of the locations, the location depicted in the title extended up to the Forgotten Capital, where the greatest fate of Final Fantasy VII awaits you. Exciting. Now, there's plenty of information we actually gotten from here. I'm genuinely looking forward to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I actually managed to pre-order myself a collector's edition as well, even though it is quite ridiculously expensive, paying 390 euros because due to the shipping included. 
And man, I hope it's gonna be a fantastic experience, a fantastic game. If it's gonna be something more similar than what we have already played from the remake, I'm gonna be very, very happy camper. <laughs> Well, do let me know what you think about the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Are you going to be picking it up? Are you super excited? And perhaps maybe you don't really much care about it. Well, alright, like and subscribe. See you guys all later and have a wonderful day.